Deuteronomy 52, 13 to 15. Suffering and triumph of the servant of the Lord. See, my servant shall prosper. He shall be raised high and greatly exalted. Even as many were amazed at him, so marred were his features beyond that of mortals, his appearance, beyond that of human beings. So shall he startle many nations. Kings shall stand speechless. For those who have not been told shall see. Those who have not heard shall ponder it. My morning prayer this morning was in regards to holy vision. Along with the word trust. And God calls us every single day to have holy vision. To have trust. And as I've journeyed with Isaiah... Um, I've watched Isaiah as a person grow and develop. I've watched as he sat still and listened to God and his daily journey. Um, I've watched him as he has um, put down on paper what God has given him. And in these verses, um, 13 to 15 out of chapter 52, you can look at Isaiah talk about the marred features of Jesus beyond that of mortals, his appearance, beyond that of human beings. You can see that relationship that Isaiah has with his heavenly father, with the triune God. And it makes you wonder, what was he seeing? What was he looking at? That holy vision that he had. And then as you've also journeyed, it's also, I journeyed with him. I've also watched him as he's watched the the people that he's working with day in and day out and watching them journey and seeing the different difficulties that they're running into, some with holy vision, some without holy vision. Um, and in my own life, as I've journeyed with Christ and in the situations that have come up, do I recognize the holy vision when things don't go the way that I want them to go? Um, do I recognize that God is asking us to trust him? To trust where he's taken us, even though things ain't exactly the way you'd like to see them happen, even though the plans that you've laid out don't always seem to work. God, in those situations, if you're doing what God is asking you to do, if you have a daily prayer life, if you have that vision Every day, not no, not three days a week, not four days a week, but every day, that holy vision, and you're contemplating where God has you, what God is showing you, and where God is taking you, holy vision. And then you run into your day, <laughs> and you lose the holy vision, right? <laughs> I lose that holy vision from time to time, and God reminds me to trust him. To trust him implicitly in everything that's going on. That's something that you, as you journey with um, reading scripture, as you journey with the Holy Spirit, as you ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life and teach you and, and give you guidance. And then as you listen to what goes on around you and you listen to how God is speaking to you through others and you're listening to that holy vision. And you're going, Lord, I trust where you're taking me. I trust where we're going. And you give it up to him, knowing that in that guidance that he's given you and in the situations that pop up that don't go the way you'd like them to go, and you just listen to where God's going and you follow his lead, know that the picture that he is painting is salvation. Know that the picture that he's putting together is is your own salvation it is your own journey and that's where god's asking you to go it may not always be what you wanted but it is what god wants and that's the message today trust where god's taking you especially now when we look at a world that's that the world is trying to divide the message the world that gives us is division the message that god gives us is unity so uh, as always you're loved like no tomorrow Sit and read the scripture. Talk to talk to God. Ask for the Holy Spirit's guidance. 
and even beyond the words, look past the words, look past what God's really telling you, and then respond to that. Respond to where God's asking you to go to. So have a blessed day. Be who God made you to be. Be the best version of yourself and live your faith. God bless.